Good morning and happy Turkey Day to everyone. So we're about to make some breakfast and we've got a special treat that really comes from back home. So it's almost like today we're gonna to be doing a lot of back home stuff, but we are starting it out right. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this before, but it's amazing. Scrapple, Philly's favorite baby. Why don't you explain what Scrapple is to everybody? It's pig scraps rendered and then mixed with cornmeal, I believe. Yes. And generally the way that you cook this is that you take it out of the loaf, which looks really gross, but it's absolutely amazing. But you cut it into slices and then you just put it on a hot griddle like this and you fry it on both sides till it's brown. And you flip it and all of that and it remains mushy on the inside, but oh, is it so good. Oh, she is a beaut, look at her. So yeah, you just cut it into pieces about what, like half inch thick? Sometimes you can do it thinner. So bacon is my favorite breakfast meat, but scrapple is my number two. It's like my side meat. Nick ended up putting some bacon fat rendering on the pan, which you don't have to do, but I mean, it's Thanksgiving, so why not? But yeah, that, that's pretty much how you do it. You stick it in a pan, you wait for it to sizzle up, you flip it, let it sizzle up some more. You gotta cook it slow. Slow and low. You see that brown under there? That's when you know it's getting close. But you don't wanna flip too soon because it will break them. They are delicate. Oh, that's what I'm talking about right there. Sizzling goodness, baby. Sizzling goodness. Scrapple and eggs. Crunchy and soft. Yum. That's what it looks like on the inside. All right, so it's a couple hours later. Nick and I were doing some housekeeping stuff earlier. Not even worth it to vlog, but it is time. Are you ready, Nick? I'm still putting my shirt on. <laughs> so we are about to feast on our unconventional feasting. As you can see, Nick has been um, busily working out his magic game. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I just called you out on your nerd game. That's what's so, up. You got to own it. Ooh. Own that nerd game. About to own the sandwich. <laughs> well, let's bust out the bobby. Holy moly. Look at that thing. I know. I have to like stand back here in order just to get it into a frame. <laughs> That's how big it is. So we are opening up the Bobby. This is the first Bobby we've had at the Capriati's in Nashville. It's the first it's... Bobby I've had ever. Oh, oh my God, for real? I've never had one. Oh my God, you're gonna be so impressed. Okay. It is uh, Thanksgiving on a bun. So you get your cranberry, you get some stuffing, mayo, and it's actually, home cooked turkey that's that's shredded and pulled. I'm saying I'm just gonna start with a half for right now. Maybe like that's what I was gonna do. Like hiya. Thanksgiving on a roll. You see all the layers there? So yummy. I'm going in for the first bite. Wow. Heaven, so heaven. 
heavenly. Nick's never had one because when he lived in Delaware, he was a vegetarian. Pretty good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Glory town. Yeah, I'm almost done. And that's pretty much our Thanksgiving dinner this year. No, I'm proud of that. Simple, easy, no prep. Literally, the prep was to make sure to buy it the day before and to cut it. Didn't even need silverware. No silverware needed. We probably didn't even need a napkin or a plate. Just saying. No. Probably not. Just saying. So, easy peasy pudding pie. And, and this is the last bite. Mm -hmm. The moment has arrived. It is time to get Christmas vibe. You gonna help me do this? Yeah, sure. All right. Let's get this bad boy open. So this year, Nick and I went with a skinnier tree. Looks fairly easy to assemble. Probably like three pieces. You're really good at this, Nick. Yeah? Mm -hmm. This is my calling. Santa's helper. Your attention to detail is impeccable. It's a, it is a much taller tree, but it's also skinnier. Mm -hmm. So it's like a smaller footprint. It looks good. I got a new tree skirt. Huzzah! We're gonna put the tree skirt on the tree where it belongs. It's Velcro. Aw, oh, thanks for the kiss, Dottie. You really encouraged me. If only they, I just got more kisses when I was doing work. All right, the tree skirt is done. Hmm. Look at those things. That would have to start at the top. Time for the star. Time to put on some garland. Oh crap. <laughs> oh, being short, this never really works out quite the way that I anticipate it. This is a sound wave. <laughs> You're not. Poor daddy. That is me. my necklace on you. Man. Free to go for now. That is a lot of beads. I can't believe it's all one. <laughs> all your guitar cabling skills coming back to facilitate with this giant string of silver beads. Look at all those beads. She looks like Mr. T almost. <laughs> you look like Mr. T. <laughs> look at her. He just keeps walking around with them. <laughs> I 
<laughs> hey, Dottie. Hey, Dottie. placement on a tree is that abnormal part that I always have the hardest time with are these little tiny hooks I don't know if you can see that but getting them out of this giant mess right here yeah it's a doozy we're cranking away my buddy he went off on his motorbike not to necessarily have fun although I'm sure he will but he went to go get us some energy drinks and to let a lady decorate and make the tree fashionable. Hmm. So, that's what we're doing. Oh, God. I really do have a problem with like OCD and putting bowls on the tree. Move this guy. See, I'm already getting into that OCD mode. Oh, I don't know why I do that. Ew. Ew, it's actually like. It's like an oil or something. Well, at least I can wipe it off, but that's gross. Time to fuel up, baby. Because this is going to be a long night of tree decoration, so. Fueling up. <laughs> you drink it like this, like you were covering it up. <laughs> you should have... Why? Because the little... Maybe I have to... <laughs> you gotta... You were like, you were like, you drank it like this. <laughs> you were like, you breathe delicious. Let me do the commercial spot. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys could only see what he is doing behind the camera. We are now doing the arduous task of putting balls on the tree. But I really think that balls makes the tree. Whew. Going in for round two. Hi, Daisy. So this is our neighbor's doggy. And look, it's Daddy. And she is happy to see Daisy. So the tree is finally complete. Nothing would complete a tree like your favorites. Lucky cat. Well, there you have it. Whew. I'm out of breath. That's a wrap. So a couple hours later, we finally got this bad boy looking tip top. She is beautiful. She is well dressed. I'm just smitten. So we'll be having her around the place for about another month, and it was well worth the effort. Looks good. And that's, that's Nick. He's over there nerding out. We're about to head on to another tradition that we normally do on tea day, which is play some magic. I hope that you enjoyed hanging with us on this turkey day. Uh, it was very unconventional, but very relaxing, very nice. Uh, I hope you had fun watching us and seeing some of the different things that we did on this turkey day. Maybe you guys had some fun. Let me know what you did this turkey day. Feel free to give a comment. I'm really curious if, every, if anyone else did anything kind of out of the norm um, this year. But at any rate, that's going to be it for this evening. We've got tons of other cool things coming this weekend. So check back at the channel to see what we've got coming. 
Feel free to give a like, feel free to subscribe, feel free to comment, and definitely always feel free to give this a share because I have no shame. At any rate, that's gonna be it for the evening. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Bye. Miss Dottie, you wanna say goodbye? Wanna say goodbye? Is that your goodbye? <laughs> Bye, Dottie. Shake.